So back in the 2022 midterms, I, I was typing what I was looking for. What do the Republicans stand for? I went to their um, their platform to see what they stood for. I was listening to the politicians around the time of the midterms, and I could not see anything that these people actually stood for outside of believing that the 2020 election was stolen. They had to um, pledge fealty to Trump. They must believe that the January 6th was just um, patriots righting a wrong. They have to be anti-choice. They have to believe in Jesus. Go Jesus. Um, they have to talk about border walls and illegals. They have to be, um, you know, hammering Joe Biden. Let's go, Brandon. They have to be anti-CRT, now book banning. And they have to be anti-woke mob or anti-DEI. That is all that I could see with these people. Then I think it was January of this year. I said the Republicans have no actual platform. The last platform they put out was basically fealty to Trump. They have no plan to govern. And they've been this way since becoming the party of no against Obama, pushed by the little, the sickly Mitch, Mitch McConnell. So they are imploding and I am here for it. I'm so entertained watching them go the way of the dodo bird. I'm always using go the way of the dodo bird. So I can always like go back and try to find my own post. But they have been the party of no. You don't really know what they are for, but you know what they are against. So some predictions that I typed up. Red states will hemorrhage women and girls, which will impact female dominated careers like nursing and teaching. Girls and women will continue to out enroll boys in college and will probably go to states that respect women's reproductive rights. Red states, which are typically less educated, more impoverished, less healthy, with terrible infrastructure as well. I mean, will continue to stay that way. And they have been. Um, as more women leave, um, these states will continue to be at the bottom. The GOB will continue to go the way of the dodo bird and they deserve it, which they are. Red states will red states that hemorrhage girls will contract in population and lose representation in the House, which they deserve. So these were some predictions that I had at the beginning of this. Year. And then me continuing to talk about a dodo bird. Re um, Republicans are tying themselves to someone like Trump is biting them in the butt. And I'm here for it. He was poisoned and vitriolic as soon as he stepped on the scene. These are just thought they wouldn't be impacted by that toxicity. And I'm loving that they are being taken down by it. They will go the way of the dodo bird and they did it to themselves. Now, look at what the Republicans are up to. Um, they are still trying to grasp at what little power they have um, because they they have no real platform. So they have to continue to gerrymander to keep to keep their stronghold. So both Florida and Alabama must redraw their um, their their congressional maps because they are unconstitutional. A state judge on Saturday rejected con congressional district boundaries affecting communities across North Florida, saying they unconstitutionally restrict black voting power and that Florida's legislator must redraw them by dismantling con um, congressional district that enable um, black voters to elect their candidates of choice under the previous plan. The enacted plan violates the Florida Constitution. That's what they said about Florida. And this is against Ron DeSantis. Florida court again strikes down Alabama's congressional map. Repub Republicans fail to comply with a court order to create a second majority black district or something close to it. The judicial the judicial panel. A panel of federal judges rejected Alabama's latest congressional map on Tuesday, ruling that a new map needed to be drawn because Republican lawmakers have failed to comply with the orders to create a second majority black district or something close to it. So basically, the Republicans have no power. They they don't have the votes that they want. So they they just can continue to cheat. They're just going to continue to cheat. And they were told to do this. But the Alabama Republicans were like, nah, nah. This is what one of the judges says. We are not aware of any other case in which a state legislature faced with a federal court order declaring that its electoral plan unlawfully dilutes minority votes and requiring a plan that provides an additional opportunity district responded with a plan that the state concedes does not provide that district. So they're like, y'all are basically just not even listening. And then the Proud Boys, which is the strong arm or the enforcers of the Republican Party, keep facing all these years in prison because these people decided that they were just going to break the law and 
you know, stand up and stand by or stand forward or whatever Trump asked them to do. And they did it. So these people are going to jail for Trump, (laughs) not getting any help from Trump, no pardons because Trump is not in office. They went along with this plan. And why? Why did these people throw their because uh, I I don't know. And this dude, Enrique Terrio, a brown dude going so hard, being a strong arm of white supremacy. And I just do not understand it. And then we got Mitch McConnell out here freezing a couple of times in mid sentence, obviously needing to step down. But he was iconic. He was instrumental in being and in helping usher in the party of no when it came to Obama and his under his leadership, they have remained the party of no. They have not, they still haven't put up anything outside of being anti CRT, being pro Jesus, and anti choice that I can see. But you guys can go ahead and weigh in on where you see the Republicans going from here. I don't see very much because I don't know what they stand for outside of Jesus, um, being anti choice, and being anti-education, oh, I'm sorry, and being anti-DEI, anti-diversity, equity, and inclusion. You guys can weigh in. Like, comment, share.